Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and as you can tell from the title of the video we are pretty much ready and guaranteed in Ayado so I explained how I got a guaranteed so that I was doing a stream uh, just a couple of hours ago and you can check out my reaction or a video over here I will put the stream uh, video if you missed it so I did a wishing uh, session just because the banners on the current banner actually just realized it was pretty cracked. There's banner inside, has uh, Kudosara, Sing except of except Sinyan obviously, she's not that great, but besides team besides her, uh, this banner actually is amazing. And that's what made me pull on this banner because I was very early in the PT, so I just thought I just want to build some PT a bit, uh, heading towards Ayado. And I know I'm on the 50-50, so I, I wasn't guaranteed anything, so it's pretty much safe to build some PT. And if you watch my reaction video, you will notice yeah, uh, you just you can just watch it and you explain everything. So after you watch it, uh, I'll continue on. I just pull one more time and that's it. I'm not really sure about this. Cause it's still not too bad actually. Cause the banners here are pretty amazing. Right, last one guys, last one and we're just gonna stop already. That's it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's five star. What the heck? It's so early! <laughs> oh my god, live on stream guys. Streamer luck. Pog, man. I really don't know what's gonna happen. It could be a C1 Raiden. It could be off banner. Off banner is even better. I can guarantee an Ayad already. So, let's go guys. Oh man. Banner C4. I'll take that. Oh my gosh, it's a Chi Chi. But... It's off banner guys, so we pretty much got a guaranteed Ayado. I'll take it, I'll take it, no worries, I'm okay, this is very good, wow, how many 4 stars are there man, okay, uh, and I think that's about it, I don't think we have back to backs, yes, Chi Chi, C1 Chi Chi and a Bennett, I'll take it man, it's so early, I can't complain, so yeah, we pretty much got an Ayado guaranteed, so now we just need to wait for his banner and I don't think I can pull anymore because yeah, I am guaranteed. Alright, so if you guys done watching the reaction video of my uh, summing session, so yeah, that's what happened. Uh, I got a guaranteed Ayado now because of that and obviously we are down a little bit on Primos but it was an early 5 star, I really can't complain and because of that we are pretty much ready and set for Ayado in the next uh, patch. So yeah, we pretty much guaranteed Ayado now. And obviously we're not going to pull anymore. I don't need uh, Radiant Shogun C1. I'm pretty much happy with what I got now, C and C0. So we're just going to wish for Ayato on next week's stream. So be sure to check out my Twitch on twitch.tv slash j395. I'll be streaming live on Twitch doing the summoning sessions for Ayado. Uh, I know it's not surprising that I got Ayado, but it's still nice to have him uh, getting him uh, for sure because if <laughs> we didn't get him in the 50 50s then there's gonna be a lot of females to be wish on so yeah that is actually pretty nice that i got him guaranteed so once we got him we can just stop and save up for other potential future characters down the road but anyway uh, i'm gonna show you guys what i prepared for ayado so yeah i did farm for him already even though i wasn't guaranteed so that was a bit risky but I uh, pretty much got everything ready for him. So we got this uh, sword here. This is a free to play sword, the Anonoma Kaguchi. So this one is uh, craftable. I have R5 did because I have so many prototypes. And there's also one other sword that I plan to get and test it out. It's the Black Cliff Long Sword that's in the shop. Uh, I will get it once I got Ayaro, but uh, we'll use this one on him for now. This uh, sword. And for the. Uh, the items, I have also prepared a lot of books, we pretty much can level him up to 90, no problems on day 1. Uh, we got a lot of these, uh, where's the handguards, where's the handguards, all these things are ready. Uh, we got some of the talent level up materials for him as well, so only 4, but uh, we can convert using Dream Sorbon, so I don't think that should be an issue. We have 47 of this, so pretty much we are ready to ascend him to 90, which is pretty nice. And for the gems, you have 6 of these, 15 of these, and yeah, pretty much ready as well. For the talents, uh, I think we can uh, ascend one of his talents to max, which is crown. Uh, probably can crown two 
two uh, talents, if not mistaken, from what I have now, which is pretty nice. And we pretty much got all the materials ready for other weapons as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it actually. So we are ready for Ayado. Oh yeah, I didn't show you the artifacts actually. So the artifacts I've already prepared as well from Eastern Kaya now. So these are the stats. Uh, yeah, crit rate is not that great. I'll explain later. So we got the crit damage 151. For now, this is the value, but I think once you get Ayado, it will be higher because I think it scales with crit damage. I'm not too sure. Uh, probably same like Ayaka because she also scales with crit damage, so I thought maybe he also be the same. Uh, energy recharge will be 145, so it's pretty high considering we don't even have an energy sense. Uh, we have a hydro damage bonus 61.6, pretty nice. Uh, the artifacts I'm currently using the Heart of Depth, so I believe there's a new set coming for Ayato. I'm not sure will that be any any better than this from what I have, but this is what we have to do for now since we don't have uh, we don't have anything farm obviously because the next patch hasn't arrived yet, so we can't farm for the artifacts, but we still can use this because this is a workable set that I've uh, got and you can see we have pretty cracked some stats on this one 26.4% crit damage, pretty insane uh, a lot of attack and some HP as well because it scales with HP uh, this one also pretty sweet, we got a lot of crit damage, uh, crit rate attack and some HP as well uh, this is an off-piece attack sense so it has a lot of energy recharge so I took this one and some crit damage and crit rate and this one actually is pretty amazing. This is a hydro damage go uh, goblet on set, which is pretty rare actually. And we have 12.8 crit rate on it and energy recharge 11%. So this is actually pretty good considering it has two defense substats. But I think this is an amazing uh, piece of artifact. I don't think I have anything else better than this. Because if I check my hydro damage cups, I think this is the best one. Um, all these are either off-piece or just terrible as you can see um yeah so unfortunately mona is using another good one but it's uh, noblesse oblige so yeah so that's why i'm using this one and this one's on sing chill so yeah so that's the goblet and lastly we have the circlet which is a crit damage one uh, i know it'd be better to go for crit rate but i'll just try using this because uh, we can actually use the cryo resonance to to get extra crit rate. So I plan to use freeze freeze com, so that uh, Ayato gets a lot of crit rate and he won't have any issues there. So that is the plan for next week. And yeah, that's pretty much it actually for this video to show you guys that I am guaranteed an Ayato, and I also read it read it his materials. And now we just have to wish for him, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, anyway guys, that's a short little video uh, showing you guys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that I've now given the uh, Ayaro. Uh, this wasn't even planned at all because I'll just I'll just feel like I feel like wishing in that stream. So I just wished. You can see since I was uh, pretty pretty uh, far away from pity. Why not? It's not that bad because it's early. So considering that happened, I'm pretty happy overall. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next patch 2.6. See ya.